The media pipe image segmenter tasks lets you divide images into regions based on predefined categories. You can use this functionality to identify specific objects or textures, and then apply visual effects like background blurring. There are APIs available for Android, Python, and the web, with more coming in the future. To get started using the image segmentation task for the web, it's a good idea to first take a look at the available segmentation models. The task includes several models specifically trained for segmenting people and their features within image data, including a person and the background, a person's hair only, and a person's hair, face, skin, clothing, and accessories. There's also a more generalized model that segments different categories, including background, person, cat, dog, and pot of plant. The available models might change over time, so definitely check the docs for the latest details. If you're not sure what model is right for your use case, try them all out in MediaPipe Studio. You can also try out different configuration options so you can see everything the task can do. Now that you've chosen a model, install the task's vision package. You can download the package using NPM and use a JavaScript compilation tool like Webpack, or you can import the package using a CDN. MediaPipe for Web uses WebAssembly, or WASM, a binary instruction format for a stack-based VM. You don't need to understand WASM to use MediaPipe solutions for the web. Just know that WASM allows non-web-based code to run on the web. And for the best user experience, you don't want to bundle your model or WASM binary into your website. Instead, store them server-side and provide links when initializing your image segmenter. Let's take a look at how to initialize the image segmenter using example code. Here, I have a function, create image segmenter. First, we configure our WASM binary loading using the file set resolver for vision tasks method. Then, we create the image segmenter using the image segmenter create from options method, passing the file set resolver you just created and the model. You can also provide optional parameters. Output category mask provides an image mask where each pixel is colored the best fit category at that pixel according to the segmentation. Output confidence masks provides a list of image masks, one for each category where each pixel's value tells you how well that pixel corresponds to that particular category. Running mode is either image or video depending on whether you segment images or videos image is the default value. To run segmentation on an image, use the image segmenter segment method, passing the image source. This function is synchronous, which is a good thing to keep in mind when designing your UI. This source can be an HTML canvas element, HTML video element, HTML image element, image data, or image bitmap. There's also a version of the segment method that uses a callback. The callback-based method is more efficient and memory will be freed automatically for you. But the segment result resources will only exist when the callback is running. So use the other method if you need to be able to access them later. You can access your segmentation results through the category mask or confidence masks properties. The content of the output depends on the output type you set when you configured the task. Each use case for this data will be unique, so check out the CodePen demo for an example you can tweak to fit your needs. When you're done using the image segmenter results, call the close method to clean up. If you use the closure method, then you don't need this step. To segment objects in frames of a video, get the current time using performance.now. Then get the segmentation result using the image segmenter segment for video method passing your video element and the current time. And that's it. With this code, you can get started with image segmentation in your own web app. You can check out a complete code example on CodePen and view all the available solutions on the MediaPipe website or get hands-on with solutions in MediaPipe Studio. All these great resources are linked in this video. All right, you've heard enough from me. It's your turn. Tell me what you're working on. Tell me what you learn. Tell me what you still wanna know. Leave a comment here on YouTube or on LinkedIn. I can't wait to see what you build.